Okay, I am an Asim, and I am back with the Europa Universalis 4 with the Cossacks. And it's time to start a new game with a custom nation. Starting in Guajira. Now, I'll come back to this. Culturally, I'm going to stick with the... Uh, stick with what I'm going for and be... Norwegian? Religious-wise, we're looking at... Norse. Tech group, of course, Western. Map graphics. We'll go with, uh, you know, we'll go with Eastern. It just sounds like it fits the bill. Government? Strongly considering a theocracy here. That would just be interesting. Autonomy change won't be doing a lot of good here. Well, that's electronic. Yeah. The yeah, tolerance of the true faith is really nice, though. I'll come back to that. Maybe I'll get some. Maybe somebody will drop into the chat and I'll get some feedback. I definitely want to start as a duchy, though. It'll bring down the points here. And to start with, I'm just going to lower this all down to zero. The worst scenario possible. I don't know why that lowers the points, but it does. So now I have a negative 18 off of this. Here's where it gets interesting. Uh, I'm going to start with morale of armies, because early on that's amazing. Royal of Armies, and uh, just straight up discipline. I want to be a military force. Now, work is interesting. I'm going to take a real early colonist idea. Three idea grabs in, I'll have another an extra colonist. That'll be really big for, uh, well, colonizing. Whew, those points. Yeah. One colonist is fine. As far as the other things go, uh, settler increase right after that sounds like a good idea. Oh wow, that raised this. Oh, it's because we have too many Diplo. That's fine. We'll reduce some later. Morale of Navy certainly won't be needed. So we'll say something like, uh, well, not diplomatic, for one. National unrest down. Apparently I already have that up. Let's get rid of the stability cost. Let me see something real quick. I believe this ideas guy that requires you to have a very large income. It's an important distinction. Yeah, monthly income 500 ducats. We're not doing ideas guy because it's too expensive to start Western. They are mutually exclusive. For one campaign. Um, how about... Weak name? Weak name. 
Oh, I'll change this. Not done. Work in progress. Any idea if you're really legit legitimacy? Uh, ah, screw it. Inflation reduction is good. Alright, that evens out. Morale of Navy still needs to go, though. So next to some nations. There's a specific reason I'm here. And if I don't like it, I can always try again. Pfizer costs down. Eh, not bad. Maybe military is the way to go. Nice and cheap. Core creation. I wouldn't mind that, but I'd want it here. Good and early, when I'll be conquering. We'll just do tax modifier. There we go. Keeps everything balanced. Uh, what is your reason? Because this is very cheap to develop. Which means I can focus, I can get some money here and then focus my points elsewhere. It's the cheapest place to develop in this region, it's also in the Caribbean. The military ideas aren't necessary now, but it'll be kind of nice to have them later. And if this doesn't seem well thought out, that's probably because it's not. I kind of screwed around in here a little bit earlier, and uh, Here's what I took away from it. So what do you think? Theocracy? A Norse theocracy? I won't see the other people. That is correct. Not until I uh, start colonizing. To be a horde, I have to be um, step nomad, step technology, and that is mutually exclusive with the achievement I'm going for, which is called uh, first come first serve, which is why I'm starting in the Americas. Start with no more than 200 points. I'm at 170 here, and start with uh, Western tech. Own it all. So not hordes. Let's get some proper Norse names in here. There we go. Although the dynasty is going to be von Habsburg. Never leave someone used. That is what I'm going to do. And I'm thinking... Just dump some into admin points here. That'll get me my first ideas faster. Once I get that first idea group, it'll uh, it'll move along much more smoothly. Why do I have less points used than I did last time? What have I done differently? I actually have no idea. I might have just done something funny. Either way, I think... Uh, it's between that and probably a uh, dip I'm not too concerned about. I could just do this. Or I could min-max further. Just because your dynasty is done. Von, is Von Habsburg doesn't mean you'll have the same dynasty as Austria. Trust me, I tried. Well, I don't know what you tried, because it absolutely does. I tried too. And if I'm wrong... Then you can laugh at me all you want. But uh, I just looked. Maybe you capitalized the V? This looks pretty good. 
alternative is raising the age of my heir, but maybe I can just get him killed. Wait a minute. I'm a theocracy. Why is there a zero-year-old heir? Tried that when El Dorado came out. Probably changed. Could be. Could well be. Uh, I don't know that it'll do me any good, but it might come up with some funny situations, which is why I want to try it. And just go ahead and name this guy Garbage. Trust me, it's Greek. I mean, uh, Norwegian. Can't wait till you discover Europe and they lost the dynasty. Well, good news, because I, since I start Western, I will see Europe day one. All right. So now I can cheaply raise uh, the stats here. Yeah, they don't produce heirs, they have the event. Yet, I'm starting with an heir named Garbage. That's getting me negative points that I can spend uh, wherever I need. There's the save and load. So I'm going to save over my other one. I should, however... Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. I actually really like that where that is already. Tempted just to keep this. It looks like the world. <laughs> this is the. Is there like a. Something kind of Norse appropriate as far as. I don't think I have an emblem pack that was available. So I probably don't have everything I can get. What the hell is that? You know what? I kind of want the derpy fish. Yeah. Yeah, this is me. Nation name... North America. Adjective... Hmm... That's totally, yeah. Odinesque. Can you save your nation and test something? I could. Why? What do you want me to test? If you can see Europe, does that mean Europe can see you? I'm pretty sure it does not mean that. Try it by tag switching. Alright, I'll give it a shot real quick. Let's see, tag England. Nope, can't see him. That was the wrong button. I'm now switching to switch to desktop. Let's hope uh, Twitch plays nice. Well, <laughs> that's total BS. Hey, they don't know I'm there. I got out. But I just left my spies. Custom nations OP. Yeah. So let's see. I should be able to load that thing back up and just run with it. So I'm going for three achievements here, and those are first come, first serve, for Odin, and humble origins.
Mm-hmm. Good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks great. Hopefully I can get rid of that air. Oh no. Let's modify it. This map color's gotta go. What color is good in North and South America? Hmm. I might just go with my favorite color. I could go with a nice black. Probably plague my way across the place. I love that Spanish blight. You know, I'm kind of liking the idea of black. Just straight up. Sardinia Piedmont color. That is quite nice. What are we looking at? But I really want to look like the plague I am. Try and see if that's there. What color is it? It's like that. It's the one people refer to as toothpaste, right? Kind of like that almost. I'm doing black. Yes, toothpaste. The land of the rising fish. Okay. The benefit to this is this puts me squarely in the Caribbean trade node, which is one of the wealthier potential trade nodes in uh, the Americas. Hey, I am. Plan today is... Uh, read these again. Humble Origins, Fort Odin, First Come, First Serve, all in one campaign. All right. Hardest achievement yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a real challenge. Actually, it's more of a... No, it's not really a challenge. But, it's interesting, and I can get out of the way. Priest Helg von Habsburg. With an air garbage von Habsburg. Alright. Yeah, I, I was considering putting myself exactly next to someone, but um, I kind of feel like it's more important to get my get my colonizing going anyway. Oh, that's fun. All achievements not specifically for custom nations are unobtainable. Correct. So the three I need are right here. Wait, I can get ideas back? What did I label wrong? Oh, I just had Humble Origins and uh, Ideas Guy backwards. First come, first serve, for Odin. Yeah, let me relabel these real quick for my own sanity. That's fine. That Norse noise is excellent. I agree. Let's hear it again. So I can select a deity. I think build cost and tech cost are a good start point since I will need uh, I'll need me some of these.
I think that's permanent for a leader, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to focus... I just focus admin, but I'm kind of afraid I'm going to go overboard. I need tech 5, so I need two techs to get that. And I can't really do much until I get my settler. Once I do, I can start plowing my way through the Andes. And then colonizing my way toward the Aztecs. But I definitely want to get my first ideas early on, because that settler is going to be huge. And if I get it along with, uh... Not expansion, but... Exploration. I'll have two settlers right by the time I have my third idea. So here's what I was talking about. Same dynasty. Frederick III, Austrian. I am a von Habsburg. Do they know about me? Because I know about them. <laughs> they do know me. Same dynasty, plus 15. So there you go. So I don't need to pay my army. I start off with some points, it looks like, relative to my starting character. Question is, do I actually boost this, or uh, do I just wait? I think I'll wait. Although getting the money over time would be really nice. See how that goes. Is there anything else I want to do? I probably should set a focus, one way or the other. Do I want to get a little behind on Miltech? You know what I won't get behind, because everybody around me is garbage. So for role-playing purposes... I am essentially Vinland. I am Vinland. Kind of. Like, I don't know. Now, let's send my. I can't imagine there's much money here yet. Apparently I'm sharing a good chunk of it. England has 8% trade power here. Holy crap. Now let's secure my cut a little more. And as far as the cogs go, let's just mothball them. I might need them later. All right. So I am a theocracy. Gives me uh, more. I'm not going to run into heretics because I'm Norse. It's just. Actually, these guys are probably heretics, aren't they? Well, I guess I'll just have to crush them. I could uh, sap the clergy's loyalty for a very tiny tax penalty. Lose 15 loyalty for 10 years. That seems pretty worth it to me. The risks of trade. Whoa! Trade over large dis distances can be risky if profitable. The weather, brigands, and pirates are remain a threat on land as well as on water. Normally the merchants' guilds can cope with a certain amount of mishaps and have their own ways to protect themselves and ensure their cargo. 
Lately, however, things have been going badly for a large number of merchant families, and some are at risk of bankruptcy. Yes, I'm sure there's a lot of prominent merchant families in the thousand or so people that maybe live here. Lately, however, things have been going bad. Uh, it may be prudent to offer some financial compensation to them to get them back on their feet. For six ducats, I can get three mercantilism. That's pretty good. That's... I'm okay with that. It's not like the merchants have a lot of influence anyway. How long does the clergy thing ask for? Or uh, last? There's a 15 loyalty... Actually, that would put them below 30, so that would be bad. Twenty years. So yeah, now I wait. Speed five. It losing inflation. Why would I? Ah, uh, well, I don't want to spend the admin right now, so I'm gonna get, take the inflation. Gotta get me that idea. In two years I'll have temples. And if I'm way ahead of time, so be it, I will spend that administration administrative point surplus on upping this. And the reason I started here specifically is because there is no penalty here to improving development. So early on I can get as cheap as it goes development improvement and get my first province uh, a bit of a boost. Oh, okay, so they got their union. That's what that means. I do want to have a decent bank account because it's going to cost me to colonize. And I'm going to lose massive amounts of devotion, apparently. Alright, that does put me 15% ahead, but I think it's totally worth it to pay the extra if I can. Until then, I can save up my dip. Probably worth it to raise stability to get my devotion up. Keep my devotion up. Hello? This should be fine. It's not like I have revolt risk. Negative stability. Now that sounds like a mission 
for me. Ten devotion. Oh, that's per year. Okay, I thought it was a lot faster. Um, national manpower modifier. Ten devotion. Well, don't need the devotion right now. Now I do want the extra money, so I guess I'm gonna drop a couple of a uh, hundred admin into that, so I get more money. This still isn't enough to cover uh, a colony. Well, I certainly can't fight six peasants, so... Sorry, nobility. I am going to have to spend more admin here. I really need the income in order to fund a colonist. Oh no. I'm going to have to move my capital. Panama. Well, I'm just going to roll with it and see what happens. Yep, I made a mistake. I probably should have just attacked, uh, started up near the Aztecs. Maybe I should start over. Because starting up near the Aztecs means I can fight like the Mayas and the Aztecs. And take their land. But more importantly, when I start colonizing, I can colonize the Caribbean. Which is going to be very wealthy. Now, I was thinking I'd just fight my way through the Andes, but... That'll start a lot slower. Let me see how that goes. Let me see if I can move my capital for a saved custom nation. If I'm in South America, it'll set a colonial nation in the Caribbean, which I definitely do not want. I want that for myself. Now let's see if I can load that nation. And relocate it. I'm not sure if it's possible. It'll be really annoying if I have to start a new one. Maybe if I uh, do this or something?
jungle, tropical, jungle, tropical, hills, tropical. I mean, I could just take one of these. Temporary grasslands right here. Nope, base tax is too high. It's got to be one of these junk provinces off to the side. Temperate dry lands, that wouldn't be so bad. It would be easier than over here. Hmm, I think this whole area is going to be uh, jungle tropical. It's hills tropical, but it's still it's rougher than dry lands. Alright, let's go over there and load this and see what happens. Oh good, it worked. And I'm one point down for some reason. Why? Well, if I'm a point down, I can always just boost something. I want this guy nice and young, so my heir has time to die. What's worth one point? Do not know. Maybe this is good enough. Yep, I'm just going to have to live with this. Which means I'll probably want my military up, actually. It's a totally different game now. I want to colonize fast, but I want to be able to take out these guys fast, too. This will be a little more exciting, since, uh... In this case, I will be... threatened pretty much immediately. Ah, uh, no, but, well, okay. Let me rethink this. Really what I need to rethink is these points. Way I want a lot of admin. Let's go with this. Because I want some diplomatic so I can get my first colonist early enough. But I want the admins for coring, and I want the military for kicking some serious Aztec ass. Which might be difficult toward the beginning. Let's see what happens. Oh, these are local. I don't want local. I want my game to lag. Okay. Sadly, this puts me further away from the uh, early European action compared to what I would have liked. Go ahead and delete those. if I can this requires more they want my land but nobody else really seems to
And I might want to do the uh, the local thing and just grab vassals to gain power. So this is going to be a little different. Let's try to friendly up with a couple of people. Preferably a couple of people that are far away from each other. Everybody's gonna hate me because I'm the wrong religion. Let's just see how this goes. And early on, I probably wouldn't mind having that land leader shock. Well, core creation's pretty good. I kind of feel like the uh, survival is a little, a little more immediately pressing. Maybe I'll just wait until one is relevant. Just hold off. In this case, I might want to actually develop earlier. Because if there's a problem, I'm going to need the cash. Go ahead and do it. Alright, that's a lot more income than I just had. Flex Cola wants an alliance. This is Flex Cola. They're allied with Tlepanek. Ah. I kind of think it's a decent idea just to take the alliances. Enemied with anybody I just tried to ally. Mixtech? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get them now. Totanak. Aztec, okay. I'm going to need a lot more money, and I'm going to need possibly some more force limit here. influence for how long? 15 years? Damn. That's dangerous. Oh, my merchants are active. Well, you will collect because that's your uh, starting node. Ugh. I guess I should collect over here too. threatened? No. But what I can do is declare myself some vital interests. Well, might as well just do all of it that I can core.
almost making a whole decade a month. These guys are going to lose fairly heavily, I think. Their ally... I mean, if they're losing, I might as well swing in and take stuff. Their ally's all the way over here. Hmm. The negative stab is not going to do too much to me though, so I think I might just tank it. Money is really important right now. Another one close to me. What I'm afraid of here is the Essex are going to actually uh, vassalize them. Would that be so bad? If I were vassalized, if they attacked me and vassalized me, that wouldn't be all that bad for me. Okay, what is this? Tlaxcala has gone to war with Totonac. Okay, this will get me into the war. Now. Okay, yeah, automatically raise army maintenance. I think I could just step over here and grab the land. Before anybody else can. Now I can just head home. Well, I can stay home. And hope that we don't get dragged into another war when they get vassalized by the Aztecs. Such as this. Now we're at war with Aztec, Mixtec, and Totonac. We just won another war. And shit might get real, so I'm just gonna, you know, build some men. get tier for the land leader shock and get myself a general. Oh yes. This guy. Four shock. But we're so heavily outnumbered I'm not sure it matters. Does not matter at all. 
Screw this. I can escape here. 23rd, 21st. I'll try. Looks like I may well be a vassal of someone. If that's okay, that'll secure me until uh, a better time comes. I'm just gonna hunt my army down, which is really annoying. Hide it in the Mayan lands. If I'm lucky, the uh, Toxcala will give up before I am done. There's no reason for me to pay my army anymore. They're doing literally nothing. I pay them a little bit just so they reinforce. They're over here looting. That would be some nice income. Allies get pile drived over. Oh god, they're actually chasing me. Hmm. I guess I'm turn around. Yeah. I'll just wait out here in the jungle. So who's besieged me? Totenak. But what if I go directly to the Aztecs and say, hey, I'll become your vassal. Don't want this. What's different here? Oh, they want that MM money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Oh, this will force me to take a loan. What bullshit? What a load of crap. I 
But I'd rather this happen than I get eaten by Totanax, so... Why is my income negative? Not quite understanding. Except three vessels. This is fine. My trade is not justifying my fleet maintenance whatsoever. as I'd like to tech up. I really need the income. Wow, it does barely anything. Use 10 devotion or my fort gets more expensive. Well, I don't have a fort. Man, is my income terrible? Oh, good. Game crashed. Well, see how much I lost. start might look kind of iffy, but honestly, it doesn't matter much it's, as long as I can colonize and I don't end up dead. Wow, it did not save. You kidding me?
Is that oriented local? Is the continue button network for cloud saves? It appears it doesn't. No, this is also there. This is cloud. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't do cloud saves. Apparently. Mildly annoying. I still got my load. Who are the enemies of the Aztecs? Tlapanak Tarascan. I might as well keep making my claims over here. Once I'm big enough, it won't be so much of an issue. I suppose another thing I could have done is set it in Barado here. And that would have prevented them from doing much to me. Because they can't core me at that point. Nobody desired 6%. Gaining permanent uh, loyalty seems to be a good idea. Since a lot of those don't have, uh, aren't timed modifiers like I thought they would have been. North America? Yep. Custom Nation is correct. Going for first come first serve for Odin and Ideas Guy. Clergy gains influence. That's actually dangerous for me because the clergy starts with so much. But I certainly can't afford to pay them, so I guess they're gaining influence. Fee is killer at this point. At this point, my army maintenance seems seriously high. Oh, I'm over four seven. That's why. Oh, because I became a vassal. Well, so long. That should help. It, like doubles my income more so. What are my ideas? Well, let's take a look. 5% morale of armies, 2.5% discipline. The big one is the colonists, plus one colonists, first idea. That one cost me uh, most of the points I spent on this on this custom mission. Then the settler increase plus five, then it, everything else cost, cost me nothing. Actually, all these ideas cost me nothing. The experienced settlers cost me 60 out of the 200 I spent. Uh, minor unrest, core creation cost reduction, Slight tax modifier bonus, inflation reduction, which was free. That seems pretty good. And trade efficiency. Yeah. I need to take the entirety of North and South America, so expanding fast is going to be pretty good. 
The faster I expand, the faster I can attack Europe. Which is honestly a secondary priority. Just go negative army maintenance. Oh, I'm at war. I'm at war and repaying my armies. Well, I'll let them re recover and then that'll go back up. There we go. So it shouldn't be hard to take out everyone. And then what? Yep, exactly. Exactly. Currently, I'm a vassal of uh, the Aztecs because I got gang rushed by 30,000 men. But that just lets me be safe while they try to uh, advance their petty Nahuatl religion. Honestly, if I wanted to, I could go loot. Who are we at war with? Let's go loot this province. Oh god. This will also get me a little bit of prestige, I suppose. Let's pay a little bit, just so we can get some men back. Meanwhile, looting. discount, so I'll go ahead and purchase some of this. And with the next idea, all I need is my 400 dip when it comes about, and I can get my first colonist. Actually, it gives me two colonists immediately, which might have been uh, excessive now that I think about it, because I won't have the money to pay for that. Loot train coming though, while I can. Subjugation of Tlapanek. Ah. This is a mixed text war. That's a lot of men, I gotta watch that. Certainly don't want them coming for my stack. Hey, get out of here! Who else joined this war? What's going on here? That two-ton black, though, yeah. I was just picturing an entirely black North and South America. Okay, they've recovered quite a bit, and that makes me nervous for my troops. Looks like they stepped out of my land, though. Taraska. Okay, these guys surrendered. Okay, mixed tech, no doubt. Got their vassal. Yep. I got a good bit of cash from that.
What I love is this is within, within colonial, Havana's right within colonial range, so I can just go for the Caribbean. Get my bank in the Caribbean, keep the uh, Europeans out of it, use it as my economic base. Invade Mexico. Oh, thanks for the manpower game. I really, uh, care. Do you remember how long, or how many uh, vassals one of these guys has to have to, uh... They've been improving relations with me, so when they do go free, I might be able to get an alliance with them and use them as my punching bag. I'm gonna save the miltech for later. Maybe I'll get a further discount. So when I get a colonist, I can do one of these, and I'll probably do whichever one lets me uh, not fight natives. So I can uh, colonize Havana without any disturbance whatsoever. And then I'll probably have to spend the rest of my points on pretty much exclusively pumping up my land the value of my land, my homeland, so I can afford the damn colonists. That is good. The noble's losing loyalty. I cannot afford that arrest, so I guess that makes the decision for me. But now you raise devotion. That's actually hurting my tax modifier to have that down. But that idea group calls. about a year where I can do this. Better dip tech than Aztec. Oh, they started at one, don't they? So not only are they behind, they're, they just start behind.
right. Before we can send colonists, we need to choose our native policy. Okay, native policy. Native uprising chance minus 100%. This will be good later, but for starters, I want the uprising chance to be zero. Too far away? What? Um, okay, well, what's good here? This is terrible, I suppose. I guess I just need the strongest one of all of these. It's probably going to be that by a good margin. Yep, let's go in there. Now let's see how unreasonably expensive this is. Yeah. So I need to make a lot more money. Somehow. Could just disband my army. I would cut a third of the problem down. I suppose the way to go is just boost this as much as possible. Hmm. Not sure how viable this is. Let's find out. She's starting to suffer pretty badly. Even lowers my income. It's getting pretty late. It might be the case that uh, I'm displeased with the start, and I'll just try it again, say, tomorrow. It'll likely look very similar, but I might focus military first. Um, or simply not start right next to the Aztecs. <laughs> They're blowing their uh, diplomacy, or their, uh, what do you call it? I have a Regent's House, too. Who needs an army?
Hmm, how can I make money? I could also take money from uh, a faction. So merchant guild? Yeah. That trade efficiency is not doing me much good anyway. It's only five ducats, but that is a few months. I'll hold on to that. Maybe I want it. That one number might go up if my income increases. Now, if the Aztecs finally uh, pull the trigger and get a uh, one of those upgrades for Nahuatl, it might get very dangerous for me because they'll release all their vassals, including the one that has the potential to kill me right next to me. Right now, I am a tasty treat being the most developed province or a country by far right here. I think my income is balanced pretty well against this now. of documents. It was a common defense against annexation and usurpation to forge documents, have them counterfeited or backdated to corroborate one's arguments during times of struggles for expansion of territory or privileges. Even now these questionable methods are used, and even we ponder if this practice should benefit us. Hopefully no one will detect the discrepance discrepancies. Yes, I want the admin power now. Absolutely. Could be used for things like raising autonomy. Or, uh, not autonomy. Stability. Pretty solid income swing. I might not even have to take loans at this rate. And once I have this, I can go for Havana. Ah, oh, yes. Where is this? My capital? Get a free base tax. Hell yeah! Well, that's huge. That is enormous. Maybe I should be saving up for idea number two. Quest for the new world. Oh, fur. Fur is very good. Almost be making a profit if I wasn't paying my vassal fee.
And without the war, the Aztecs are going to be losing, uh, steadily losing their, what do you call it? Their, uh, doom. Gaining doom. Or base tax, yes please, that'll help quite a bit. So I'll go ahead and take the mill tech. A couple more of these and I'll be able to plow over the, the Aztecs and their friends. Who needs prestige anyway? I'm tempted to do a focus on dip tech at this point. That's pretty reasonable. I do like how I can change my culture to the uh, neighboring neighboring culture now. That'll actually make games to uh, where you want a culture shift a little easier if you are just adjacent. Maybe less capital movement. Some possibility, I suppose. What's our war now? And also, I do not want to pay for those, thank you. Wait, I'm not paying for anything. Why am I losing? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Tarascan, Itza, and Zapotec. Ah, I finally came to blows. Well, looks like the Essex might get the reform soon. I hope this finishes first. Really what I should be doing is making more claims. The military, uh, give them more loyalty for some prestige loss. That sounds like it's pretty good. I, I mean, permanent loyalty gain. Small price to pay. What is Kalima's army doing on top of my land? Just visiting? Oh, 
Oh, they already moved him there. It's point four ducats. After this finishes, which hopefully is kind of soon, I can move on to Havana. Okay, Duckett's getting good general. I don't need four I need. Gotta be ready though, because uh, my enemy's here in Teutonic. Might choose to declare war on me in the very near future. At least I'll have a backup province. And I could even just vassalize to them. Still. It's a little scary. Alright. That's sex got Got all its vassals, I believe. Oh yeah, that's plenty enough. So they'll probably reform their religion soon. In that case, I want to improve religions with them. Uh, relations. And with these folks as well, since they seem fairly powerful. Steal the Iberian wedding. Kind of bad news for me. Come on now. One in four chance. There we go. There we go. Let's core this right away. the core to get to the next one. Well, I guess I wait for that. It'll let me give me time to get some money back too. Now we have nine percent name. Uh, it must be because it's not core yet. I'll revisit that in a moment. He owns the other center of trade. Yeah, look at all that money I got back. Didn't even have to take a loan. Ravana, you're up. 
unless there's a better option. Now that my range might be a little better. The caravan is probably going to be ideal just because of the value of the province. The bandit it is. Force them is also up to ten now. That's are at Miltech two. Does that provide them anything? No, I have a tactics advantage. Next level I'll have another tactics advantage. And with an equal number of troops, I'll be able to just walk over them. the colonists now. But I don't think I have the money to use them quite yet. Perhaps I should have made him a little later down the line. Like second. Oh well. Now that I've got the core of my trade power really didn't go up that much. Oh well. I think I'd still rather colonize than fight for the meantime. My colonial range now look like pretty good. Pretty good. So going like over here is not out of the question. They seem to have removed the colonial uh, growth rate for jungle. Maybe it's attached to the tropical modifier instead. Yeah, settler increase down. Unless I just I whoa whoa whoa! The Essex just gave me fifty ducats. Are they gonna try to integrate me? Just to clarify, I can declare war on them at will, right? I'll lose a lot of stability, but I can do it if it has to happen. Hmm. Should I spend that money on the other colonists? It's tempting. I could just build an army instead, that should get my liberty desire up anyway. I'll hold on to it for now. Should probably look out for them trying to integrate people. If there's a message setting for this. Okay. Hmm. X. Certainly when it begins to annex us. When a nation accepts, rejects. Hmm. Not seeing one for other nations annexing their subjects.
kept on admin. Did not expect that to happen. Well, I can't really spend it on much yet, so I might as well. Can't even improve my. Uh... Oh wow! So I've been spending more because I'm a vassal nation. Did not know that, but I think that was worth it, regardless. Backing up's not bad because it gets me closer to uh, another idea group. Inflation's going to be pretty high here. Yeah, I'll buy it down a bit. In fact, I'll buy it down a lot because it gives my income up. Income up. Can you vassalize someone you break free of in the same war? Should buddy up with their, uh, their vassals. Mark myself as hostile to them. See what they think of that. Okay, I'm gonna double uh, double colonize here. Question is, where do I go? Probably here. More trade power. Then again, perhaps it's the tax I want more. Acquiring high aggressive regions right now is not that bad, considering, uh... Then again, the Spanish and the Portuguese could be floating in anytime soon. Anytime soon. So maybe it's the trade... The natural harbors I want. This one's too far. I suppose Jamaica's good enough. I'll start losing money again, but a good chunk. Ah, Tarascan. Getting disloyal, are we? Suddenly Liberty Desire is through the roof. Also want to be an ally. I 
I'm moderately certain they won't pull the trigger while we're at war. But better safe than sorry. I'd much rather Havana finished than I went to war immediately. Ooh, they just lose loyalty. I guess I'll pay the dip. Want that uh, mercantilism? Too good. I'm perfectly happy to take loans if it means I get Havana down faster. Hit me. Since Norse is your actual religion. Interesting. got sugar. Sugar's pretty good, right? Western tech? Yes. I'm going for first come first serve, which requires you to be Western tech, for Odin and Ideas guy. Local goods produced plus one for a while. Five aggressiveness down. So there is none. Okay. a little longer. Ah, solar increase. That'll help. Just doubled. Jamaica's got fish. I should raise my stability. So if this goes positive, I wonder. Ah, it does go up. Okay, so positive stability is really good for devotion. The early prestige stability cost modifier must tw minus 20%. That's quite good. Yes, please. More expensive stability and minus one unrest, also very good. Good. And the Aztecs fund us even further. This is beautiful. In an attempt to stymie my massive liberty desire. So why won't these guys accept anymore? Chance zero percent. Norwegian. Yeah, it was kind of a, I was going for kind of a Vinland thing since I'm Norse. Can 
no longer claim that, that would be a right part of my land? I beg to differ. Claim the hell out of it. Is my heir old enough to put on the field yet? Oh yeah. Garbage Von he Habsburg should be uh, my general. It's actually not terrible. Villain pronunciation? Or should it be? Can you do it phonetically in English? All I've ever heard is Vinland. Vinland translated becomes Wineland. Yep. Pronounce it in chat. Okay. What is this modifier? Seriously, what is that? Not permitted a tooltip, I suppose. Okay, there's more money here than there is over here now, I think. So I'm gonna move my. Mississippi guy, because all the money from the Mississippi that I don't collect is going to move there anyway. Just seems right. Ah, and now I have positive income. That was, uh, pretty good. I'll wait a bit for that. It's not like I have anything else to do with it. I might go... Might be worth considering religious, just so I can clean house over here. Come on, colonies. What's going on in Europe? What's going on? Anything special? Sweden is pretty good. They're doing quite well for themselves, as kind of as usual. Nothing too special. Austria is uh, starting to blob a little bit. Develop, develop, develop. That's what I did here. This was a 1 1 1 to start. Had to pay for that first colony somehow. Worth noting, this also permits me to fabricate over here. Taras kind of help me now. I don't know why it won't show me why, though. Make your colonies actually good. Okay. You know, I'm pretty happy with my colors. But yeah, those early colonies, having them developed, it's going to be very nice. Especially th places like Havana. Is there just straight up grassland here? Nah. Havana's going to be very nice. claim back here. I need those for things. Why am I not paying colonial maintenance? Or, uh, vassal fee?
Hmm. I wonder if I'm on squidage or whatever it is. I'll take that money. I might have to build an army in the near future, so I kind of want to have it available. Who else are we vassals? Surely, surely somebody else wants to ally. Or surely somebody will want to pull the trigger besides me, so I don't have to lose my, uh, my precious stability. Sweet, your van is done. Very good. Um, what do I want next? Seven development, five, six, six, five, six, five. I could even just grab something up here if I wanted. Six, ten, five, five. Ten sounds pretty nice, but it's also out of. Oh, it's not out of range. I'm getting my colonists back. Could do that. Could I do this as well? No. What's my exact range here? Okay. Could grab Pan. Well, Pan was pretty crappy. You should focus on Caribbean for trade power. Yep. I agree, but I can't quite reach here yet. Oh, this is actually a very good province. Puerto Rico, quite strong. Which means I should be able to reach here, but uh, apparently I can't. This is too far away, whereas this is not. Well, I'll take it. The money starts pouring in. And fairly soon I'll have another colonist. So I'll have three colonists before 1500. I'm pretty okay with that. And hell, I could get one more colonist immediately after that. I think that's what I should do. Have my four colonists get exploration on top of all this. And just go ham. Can almost afford the third colonist. Ten favors. Do I have that many favors with me? I do. Almost. What are you guys? Almost. Okay, so I might be able to uh, pull them in in a few months or years. Is this per year? Yeah. The only downside to this is if there's a random rebellion, I'm going to have to actually have transports and start running them. If I betray, if I turn on the Aztecs right now, one, and vassalize them, my allies that join me would, uh, 
would go free, I think. But I would get the rest of them. I wonder if you can... I'm really not sure if I can vassalize someone out of a uh, independence war. I'm also not sure why... Kalima's their ally? Oh, they're not even vassals. I'm really waiting for them to pull the trigger, though. A little short in this process quite a bit. In the meantime, I'll just get stronger. <laughs> Another gift! They really want to fund me. They know what's good for them. about prestige right now. It's very important that they are not integrating any of their vassals, because if they are, then I kind of want to attack them. Doesn't appear that that's the case, probably because everybody's uh, liberty desire is so high. You know, they might be paying me, even though I have such a high opinion, because I'm hostile. I made myself hostile in it. Might be making them scared. Integrate. I don't want to be integrated. Oh shit. Pause damage. Okay. Yep, expansion. Expansion's the way to go. The new colonist goes to the center of trade. Truce has ended. I wonder if that's why... Yeah, that was why. Okay. So I could pull the trigger. And if I built an army, I probably could handle that. Maybe I get a fancy policy soon? Are these considered policies? Actually, not sure. I might want to get a naval explorer soon, just so I can lock down more of this. Kinda like the way this is going, though, considering the Aztecs are just funding my expansion and making me more powerful. Global and settler increase plus five, and another settler. Three settlers. Three colonists. Now where? Get those Caribbean colonies. Liberty Designer up. Hmm. Oh, my Liberty Designer is up. So why is it? So why is it? Uh, 
Oh god, he... This guy's actually on the throne. My point deficit creation. Okay. So I could gain loyalty with a number of groups here. Or I could gain devotion. What do I want? Who needs loyalty? Honestly, the clergy is probably the best to have loyalty. Terribly impressive. Now then. A lot of good ones here. We're gonna, I'm going to go for core creation. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be making some cores. What's the king's name? The current king's name is Garbage. Because that's what he is. The king, you mean priest. Because I am a theocracy. Surely there's someone else that's not loyal. You're a vassal under Zapotec? What? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Zapotec is a vassal of the Aztecs, and they have the vassal they have a vassal of their own. <laughs> okay. The heir's name is Marcus. And they are von Habsburgs. Still got positive income. Mid America's everyone. Not sure what that means. I can pretty comfortably pay for an advisor at this point. And with my current ruler, I need one. What's this war? Oh, this is a... Not a war. Yeah, I really need the Aztecs at this point to... Oh, now we're in a war. Oh, is this the war for independence? Okay, that got triggered. Alright, in that case it's time for me to build an army. With a general garbage. So, hopefully nobody nobody comes for me in that time. Yeah, sex will be too busy. Let's put Mr. Garbage in the lead. Tech map mode. Okay.
That dip tech is pretty poor. But compared to all these guys, I am amazing. I think the Aztec Super General died. Hey, look, more Miltech. Use your one stack and crush them. I don't think I'm that far ahead. Realistically, I could not. First of all, they have more than 10 men, so a one stack could would instantly die. Thirty thousand Incas versus eighty Spanish. The Spanish won. Yeah, but the Spanish were subjects of the Inca. I am going to need to go on this soon, though, because if they get too strong and win this, it'll be real bad. Let's see if I can take back this capital. They don't seem keen to fight me. I'm gonna turn the speed down till I, before I really screw up. Okay, I really don't want them to, uh... Cavalry here. Alright, let's see how we fare. Come help me out. And then do I need to listen to him? In that case, I will go somewhere nearby and loot for a while. While I restore that army. Build a cannon and literally tear them apart. Do I have cannons yet? I do. I don't have that much money though, that's the thing. If I wasn't paying for colonists, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. Siege them in the capital. I can't go after them. Now, 
us have any siege ability. Colonists, which I won't be able to afford yet. Running out of time. Oh, yeah, it's real close. Nearly eighteen hundred. Walk into me. Okay. I'll take it. Spoils of War 32. What just happened? Somebody get pieced out? Just take so much money. Thank you for the money. Somebody got pieced out. Either way, this should be pretty easy at this point. Can I not uh, core that? Apparently, I can't from that menu. That's weird. Hmm. Now what? Pretty bad to go over here. I think it's probably still better to get more Caribbean. Preferably some high uh, high revolt risk, high natives of Mexico. But why? I want to grab stuff. My priority is grabbing things that the Europeans are likely to grab. Cuba, Havana. I have Havana. No land like to Curacao. Oh, I can send it here. Oh, hello. Hello. Is 
just do me some of that. Come on, Essex, just fall already. Oh, I lost the siege somehow? How did that happen? Attach again. That is aggravating. So this is, must be what they were talking about when the, uh, you automatically gain exploration if you are, you have quests for the new world and you are in the new world. So I just got that view of that for free. Oh, and see me? I am the white man. Well, culturally speaking. Aztec will grant independence to all of us. And we got some, uh, I got 13 favors from Tarasca. And I am free. Alright. Totonac and Tarasca. You see the sea tail around your colony? Really? I guess I've always explored the waters first. How well. Zapotec will join me if I promise them land. But I frankly don't need anyone. I should go to school now? Yeah, I should go to bed so I can go to work in the morning. Uh, but I really want to fight this war. Capital? They have a fort. They have a mothballed fort there. Oh, okay. So I should rush the fort. In fact, I strategically place myself out here. Mothballed fort. Please tell me I get there before I end the people. Good. Free fort. He's got zero garrison, though, so as soon as any garrison would die, I take it. Zapotec wants me to help them. I'll accept to maintain status quo. But the important thing is, I am killing these guys. Do I really need to, though? Well, I guess I do now. Easy enough thing. See you, Hedony. Thanks for stopping in.
You stay away from me, I'll stay away from you, and we won't have to come to blows. I'm afraid it's going to be everything. Including a force to Norse. States want territory. Ah. Okay. So nobility likes land that gives manpower. Which is to say nothing I help. I suppose I'll give them something like... I don't friggin' know. Something without an amazing trade good. Fish is pretty bad. I'll give them, I'll give them Jamaica. It was the nobility that wanted that, right? Yeah. Okay, war one. Give me the money, convert that one province. I'm taking it all. Keep the admin. Nicely for me, the unrest is not going to be too bad. Especially in the capital where it's now Norse. Hmm, I kind of want to convert this first. Can I convert this one? Is that possible? 50 months? Expensive, but it is possible. Ah, religious unity hurts this. Interesting. Okay. Sweet. I could just bump autonomy here, and not worry about the rebellions. Could do that quite happily. Who needs prestige? Entirely right. Mind raising stability just to get that out of the way, either.
Oh, the Empire did a reform. Good for them. Mmm, clergy estates gaining 10 influence. Is that temporary? Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. So I can either pay and get some loyalty out of them too. Or not. I'm not gonna because I, I really do want my money right now. Doing things like paying missionaries. The fact that these guys don't want to fight me, but they're just going to sit on this means they're just not going to get through it. It's a war for independence. Oh, so these guys are breaking free. Ah, I actually want them to, so... Good. That said, I should be fabricating claims all up in this. And since I'm pagan, I can actually vassalize and force religion on my vassals. So maybe I should be vassalizing some, some of these guys. Perhaps I should vassalize one who has vassals. That would be a good use of my time. No, that sets free the vassals, doesn't it? I have to annex someone who has vessels. I might even consider helping one of them acquire vessels and then annexing them. I'm gonna have to maintain my, have my maintenance up here. It's gonna be expensive keeping them off me. are so rich they'll fund me for ages. Oh, there's the Portuguese doing their exploring. And the Spanish. Okay. Okay, so here they come. Contact is made. I need no foreign aid.
Still losing a good chunk of money here. Oh, we're gonna get my new colonists at this rate. Oh, I have a fort. I don't want a fort. Go away. That'll save me a ducat. Very nice. I think you got all the really good spots in the uh, European colonial range already. That would be a nice one to pick up. Honestly, it's even more important just to really lock down the Caribbean. converted luckily Nahuatl is a little easier to convert otherwise this would be impossible Clergy wants land now, so high tax land is good for them. At least ten percent. There. Wow, that really boosted their. Uh, their influence is kind of nasty. This is annoying. Let's kill the uh, separatists first. This is the more expensive error. Well, 
that's interesting. Scooby has a civil war. Oh man. What they do overextend themselves? Okay, I'm still losing a very large amount of money here. Let's merge up for the most part. Oh. War's over. What was the deal? Independence, they'll give land, income. No real downside to me. But these guys love me now. Too bad, like, oh, I can't vassal. Yeah, I can't vassalize unless I actually conquer someone. So I'd have to, like, annex Terrascan to get these guys. Or annex Aztec. Sounds expensive. Well, at least now I don't have to raise autonomy. Or do conversion for a while. Hopefully soon I'll have enough money to get my... Hello. CB against primitives. I don't think that actually works, but it will get me a little closer to this core creation cost reduction. I'll have another merchant soon, too. I think I already have a claim here. I just made... No, no. Why can't I claim it? Surely I can. Tot. There it is. That's all I can claim for now. And that is okay. Alright, with that, I, gotta, I really gotta go to bed. So, thanks for joining me, and have a good night. I'll probably be back tomorrow or Friday. Uh, surprise events pending.